Okay, so this video you're getting ready to watch is about a Sears Suburban disc. So you, if you have a three-point hitch on a Sears Suburban and you got the disc on it, that's what this is. Now, if you look over my shoulder, that's it. It's a disc that goes on a three-point hitch, Sears Suburban. No, that's not a Sears Suburban. That is a Craftsman, Sears Craftsman GT6000 that's been heavily modified, and there's videos about all that. But anyway, but this is focusing in on the disc. And what I did is I had a wood structure behind my Jeep mower. And I'm fixing to put a picture up of that. But um, I did something different with it. So now um, that's what the video is about. Hey guys, so I don't know if it's this wood structure rack right here, but it was on the back of my Jeep mower and I ended up taking it off and putting a, um, um, a long cart on the back of it just for better. But what I'm getting ready to do is take this thing apart. I just put it together with screws. So I'm gonna take it apart, do some cutting and reconfigure it on another item so I can use it uh, for storage and carrying like a carry-all on the back of another item that I'm not utilizing yet. Okay, so that's what I got. It didn't take very long. Um, I'll show you what I got. Just holding all that together, just random. So the plan is to build a box on top of that plow. That's a Sears three-point hitch plow. Okay, so I'm back. It is probably two days later. I got the, um, the disc, the Sears Suburban disc, right behind me. Uh, and, you know, I leave it hooked up to this garden tractor all the time. Because if you look on the back right there, I have that sleeve hitch attached to it. And that's how I pull trailers. And um, I can put a ball on there or I can take that sleeve hitch out, you know, slide it out, put another one on. But anyway, you know, there's been times where I've tried to carry gas cans to different locations out here in the yard for different mowers and stuff. And it won't fit on the back of that thing. So I end up having to hold it in my lap. run a bolt down the middle through one of the holes to hold it on so it's easy to take off but now I'm gonna build my platform and measure off to make sure it will fit a gas can and my five gallon bucket Okay, so that's what I got. So let's get a close up. Put a little of it. rail around the edge just to kind of hold that gas can in, five gallon bucket in. And that'll be complete. So we'll see.
Okay, so that's kind of it. Um, that's all I was wanting to do. I didn't want it heavy because that linear actuator, you could tell it's struggling coming back up. And um, it just seems like I'm always having to pick up a gas can uh, to run it on the other side of the yard for, um, you know, mower runs out of gas or whatever. And um, five gallon bucket, you just need that to go on there. So I got those two plus I got extra weight on top of the disc. So if I ever do disc up my area, hey, I can put cinder blocks in there and they'll hold just fine. Uh, the only thing I like to do, so I'm gonna run a bolt, probably from the top all the way to the bottom. And I got some long ones in there and probably just like a little 5 sixteenths or something. I think I got a few of those just to secure it to that because you know, it's just sitting on top of there. But the good thing is, hey, that'll lift right off easily if I need to. So that is. So if you got a Sears garden tractor, Sears Suburban, and these plows are real common, and you don't use them but what, two or three times a year? I guess you'll use them more than that. You know, the plow, you don't use a whole lot, the disc. You know, I guess you weed your gardens with them, but um, anyway, if you got one, that's what you need to do. Just make a little carry-all, and that's small, but at least you can carry your gas can around or whatever. You can put all kind of stuff in there. So if you got a Sears Suburban, you probably ought to consider doing that. It's just a handy little idea. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, I do other things like it. Obviously, I got garden tractors around here. I got probably five more in there, and I'm always doing something like this to them, so... Um, like and subscribe. Talk to you later.